Hey, welcome back. My name is Dino. Uh, this mini lecture is on teaching strategies for e-learning or online learning, however you want to say it. Um, it's based on the work of Mitchell. The focus is to explore various strategies to improve online learning. Let's begin. Uh, one of the things I, I really, really believe in this one is to be authentic. Be true to yourself, who you are, and to your students. And this is really important because teaching, especially K-12, where it's, it's a, the, the semesters or the time you're in class can really drag on at times when you're you're not feeling well, your uh, things aren't working as well, maybe the, the tone of the class isn't uh, good. Is to teach in ways that bring joy to you and your class. For example, if you're our a, a teacher, you could have students critique video game imagery, so it brings your joy in art and it brings their joy in potentially video games. Be familiar. Uh, using too many tools, resources, assessments, and activities can overwhelm teachers and students. I know this even from post-secondary where I try to consciously pare them down. You want to use familiar tools and assessments to drive student success. Um, and you want to balance new resources versus not overwhelming students. So you want to in incorporate new things that so keeps it kind of fresh but not too much. For example, you may want to poll students to see what they think of something you're doing. Be simple. Simplicity is often key to online learning, and I, I uh, fully uh, agree to that. Uh, aim for instruction to be as easy to access as possible for students and teachers. Give work that is technologically simple to complete, but need deep knowledge to, to complete. Uh, simpl simplicity can improve access for those without good te tech, such as things that aren't highly demanding on Wi-Fi or are highly demanding on a high-end computer. Um, for example, students can record how they solve the problem. This shows how it shows understanding. They can write this down. It doesn't need to be done technologically and can be transferred later on if you're doing a synchronous class. Uh, be flexible. Flexibility gives uh, the uh, students the opportunity to, to show many different understandings they, can, they have of the material. And you want to give students as much choice and control as you can in the process, given that you know that can vary in, in age level and skills and aptitudes and attitudes. Uh, being flexible in a, in a humane way that reflects student interest can increase the odds that they will be finished and, and the work will be finished and it will be of high quality. Um, try to stay away from there being a, a fixed way to accomplish the task. To, um, try to make it a little less fixed so that people have some agency and creativity and flexibility. Be organized. Try to clearly outline your instruction for your students and staff if you're an administrator. Logically sequence tasks and explain the right they're being done. For example, you could include an infographics or a flowchart to help lower the cognitive load of your instructions versus having it purely being text based. Be concise. I'll try to do this one quickly, otherwise, I'm, not, I'm missing my own point. Uh, students can be overwhelmed with directions and assignments, communicate tasks in understandable ways. Uh, verbal reinforcement may not, may not always be possible online, especially if it's asynchronous, like you're not there at the same time as the students and where you're not all working together at the same time. Uh, you can do things like video explanations of tasks, like the videos I'm doing right now, flowcharts, bullet points, etc. That was Teaching Strategies for eLearning by Mitchell. My name is Dino. Uh, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, did you find these teaching strategies for e-learning useful? Did you find some of them not so useful? What ones would you suggest improving? Which ones would you add on your own? And finally, if you like this type of content, uh, please subscribe to this channel to see similar types of content. Take care.